game breakdown, a rare repeat, but this game goes on Saturday. I talked about it once over the summer. I thought I'd talk about it again today, even though we're not getting the best of the number anymore. That being said, Florida State and Georgia Tech, Dublin, Ireland, noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific on Saturday, August 24th. It is the first game of the college football season. And of course, Florida State, we know what happened last year. They had a 13-0 start. Then they had a quarterback injury. Then they got kicked out of the college football playoffs. We didn't get a bid to the college football playoffs. And then everybody opted out and they lost 63 to 3 to Georgia, <laughs> which was not a pretty bowl game in the Capital One Orange Bowl. So, new season this year, new quarterback, DJ Ugalele, who's not one of my favorites. I always thought that he's a guy that's dating back to his time as Clemson, that he was more hype than production. Um, he transferred from Oregon State, played well last year. But again, not a guy, third college in the last, what, three years? I'm not looking at Florida State as a team that's likely to be a juggernaut from day one. I don't have a lot bad to say about Florida State, but I'm not convinced that they're the 13-0 and team, the team that started 13-0 and last year, going to be anybody that's good at that. This bet is all about Georgia Tech, all right? We're not anti-Florida State. We're pro-Georgia Tech. Brent Key in his second season, and again, we talk about coaches transforming programs, second year, third year. That's where you tend to have the transformational seasons. Last year, the Yellow Jackets went seven and six. Don't be fooled by the record. Three and four start, four and two finish. And let's talk about what they did down, down the stretch. As underdogs, plus 12, they beat North Carolina outright. They were plus one. They beat Virginia by four touchdowns. They were plus 14 and a half at Clemson. They lost by 21. Fourth quarter pick six mattered a lot in that ballgame. And the point spread, plus 24 against Georgia. Lost by only eight, plus six against UCF in their bowl game, one by two touchdowns. They've been a really good dog. They've shown the ability to step up in class. We like the team speed for Georgia Tech. And the sharp money's been flowing in them all summer. You know, plus 13 and a half we talked over the summer. Now it's plus 11 and a half, plus 11. Count me in, Yellow Jackets, plus the points. I think they're live dogs in early start action on Saturday. There's your big game. Burr. 